you are writing the jam exam and you came across this question how will you solve it it's actually very easy so first of all we have to know the topic to which this question is from and from the look of things this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called chemical equilibrium specifically applying the knowledge of a principle called the Lee Chantelier's principle to solve this question so first of all we have to know what this principle states called the Lee Chantelier's principle and Lee Chantelier's principle states that if an external constraint is imposed on a system at equilibrium that system will adjust itself to annul the effect of these constraints now please note this whenever we are discussing about the topic chemical equilibrium the word system can also be used in place of the word reactions and i believe you can see the options to this question all of these are reactions which i can also call system because of the topic we are in which is chemical equilibrium now this must be noted remember i said that Lee Chantelier's principle states that if an external constraint is imposed on a system at equilibrium this system can also be called a reaction so the question we ask ourselves what are these external constraints these external constraints are three the first of them is called temperature temperature is an external constraint that can affect a reaction another is pressure and the last is concentration in one of my videos here on youtube and also on tiktok i've explained how temperature as an external constraint can affect a reaction please do well to go watch that particular video lesson it's actually very important for you to have the knowledge so that whenever questions from that aspect comes outside you can actually solve it without stress so in the look of things i believe you are seeing this question and you saw pressure right so we'll be explaining now how pressure can actually affect a system or a reaction at equilibrium so please watch closely as i solve this particular practice question at the end of solving this question i'm going to give you your own practice question to solve and provide the answer in the comment section it's actually very easy if you watch closely to so every single step or be taking to solve this particular practice question so let's solve together so the question says when at equilibrium which of the reactions will shift to the right if pressure is increased so this is the word i'm looking out for they said pressure was increased do you understand now for this which they said which of the reactions will shift to the right i'm going to come to that but please let's understand the statement pressure being increased now please note this whenever pressure is increased in a particular reaction it implies something do you understand so i'm going to explain it here so in a particular reaction increase in pressure this is pressure now increase in pressure it will affect the reaction side with the lesser number of moles please note this whenever pressure is increased in a reaction it favors the reaction side with the lesser number of moles please note this actually this number of moles i can actually use something to replace it and which is volume do you understand because i believe you i believe you've studied the boy's law and boy's law states that pressure is inversely proportional to volume so when pressure is increased volume decreases do you understand when pressure decreases volume increases inverse proportionality but i'm going to use number of moles to explain this they're actually simultaneous because of what we are having i'm going to explain everything for you so please watch closely as we solve this question together because it's actually very easy it is important for you to have the knowledge because when you see questions under this aspect in your exam you'll be able to solve them without stress so let's progress moving further now decrease in pressure what happens to the number of moles please note decrease in pressure favors the reaction side 
with the higher number of moles or i can say higher volume do you understand so it's going to favor the reaction side with the higher number of moles mm. this must be noted do you understand so since we've built our knowledge up to this aspect let us go to our options to apply all what we've said to solve and get the answer without stress so moving further let us calculate the numbers of moles of the reaction sites both the products and also the reactant for all the options now this is what i want to do now for option a how many what number can you see here two so this implies two moles or i can say two volume do you understand let's use word mole because i've explained to you that this place can also be lesser numbers of volume and this place can also be higher numbers of volume do you understand so here can be two volume or two moles so let's just use two moles so here is two moles for a reactant remember the left hand side of a reaction is reactant whereby the the right hand side is your product you understand this is right so whereby here now we have two moles in our left for option a whereby here we have two moles as well plus here i believe you know how i got my two moles this is the number i believe you know how i got the two moles now for this one you are seeing just o2 whenever you are not seeing anything standing in front of a particular element or a compound just know that the number standing in front of that particular element that you are not seeing is one there is an invisible one so here become one moles do you understand whereby yeah, when we now add the number of moles we are having for our product side we're going to get three moles do you understand i'm going to come back to all of these but let's just progress to solve for each of them for option b here was how many moles two moles and also here was two moles as well plus what are we having here one mole here so here is one moles okay and everything together gives us three moles for our product as well here is what please watch closely here is two moles plus here is what one moles do you understand i'm going to get in total three moles here okay whereby here is two moles as well so in total for our reactant here is three moles do you understand three moles please it is for just a reactant not your product product is two moles now let's get into option d let's work at option d option d here was two moles for a reactant i believe you are following oh here is two moles and here is one mole and also here is one mole do you understand here is one moles and also here is what one moles and if we bring them together we'll get two moles as well do you understand so you can see i've calculated the numbers of moles for each of the sides of all the reactions in the option so let's apply what i just said to get the answer to this question what did i say but before i explain what i said let's go back to the question they said when at equilibrium which of the reactions will shift to the right let's leave that okay well i'm coming back to that if the pressure is increased pressure was increased that's what we should know now forget about this i just said this down part here pressure was increased and what did i say i said if you increase pressure it's going to favor the side the reaction side with the lesser number of moves do you understand so now option a we've increased pressure which side did it favor according to the values we've got in here we've got three moles here we had two moles so definitely if you increase pressure it will favor the side with the lesser number of moles so it is supposed to favor this side do you understand but please this side of the reaction is it the left or the right it is the left so can this be an answer no it cannot because they said that which of the reaction will shift to the right so we are focusing on the right hand side so this is already out do you understand the option is already out because it favors the left because it was the left that had the lesser number of moles do you understand when pressure was increased i believe you are following what i'm saying so for option b it is two moles as well two one three moles so when we increase it favors the side with the lesser number of one this side was the lesser number of moles so this is also wrong because it is positioned at the left hand side we said right do you understand for option c here was three moles here was two moles so increase in pressure will favor what side the side with the lesser number of moles and which side was the lesser the right here was two so which do you think becomes the answer we, we've gotten the answer already because when pressure was increased it favored the side with the lesser number of moles and this uh, 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 guy with the lesser number of moles was positioned in the right hand side 
shift to the right so definitely option c becomes the correct answer to this question now for option d pressure will not affect this reaction pressure will not affect option d why it is because both the product and the reactant both the right and the left had equal number of moles here was two here was one one two as well so whenever you check a reaction and the sides have equal number of moles pressure will not affect that reaction do you understand these are some exception to which how this pressure affecting a reaction works so if they have equal number of moles it won't affect it and also pressure does not affect a reaction that has solid species if you on the, if you check all here they were all gases g g g so if we see s in a particular reaction know that that pressure will not affect that particular element or affect that particular substance or compound so i believe you know how this question was solved without stress so if you find this video lesson helpful make sure you click the subscribe button to my channel and also share these lessons with your friends so get ready for your own practice question and thanks for watching okay guys so here is your practice question we'll be solving and make sure you provide the answer in the comment section okay follow every single steps i gave to solve this question you can actually do it it's actually very easy it's still the same question just that the options were changed i used new reactions so make sure you get the answer thanks for watching